If you are getting ready to come on board an MSC ship, especially if you're looking at coming here on the MSC Magnifica with me and doing a weekend sailing, you're probably taking a look at the drink packages that MSC goes and probably scratching your head a little bit. They've got what I call five different packages. They've got four that they sell and one other option that you can do that we're gonna talk about today. And I think this is a great opportunity for you to save some money and really align your drinking style to the package that you buy and probably save some money in the long run. All right, everybody, this is Brandon, the Weekend Cruiser, where I go on a weekend cruise just about every weekend. And as I mentioned, I am here on the MSC Magnifica. I've been here for several cruises now, and I get a lot of questions about their drink packages because there's a lot of them. So let me go through the ones that we'll talk about today. I'll give you a breakdown of what each one's going to give you, what it's not going to give you, and cover some logistics. So first of all, we're going to go over the I'm good package. This is the one where you go. I'm good. I don't need a package. We'll talk about what you're going to get for that. The next package you can get is the non-alcoholic. Some people call it the miners package, but it's the non-alcoholic package. You're going to have an easy package, easy plus package, and then you're going to have a premium package. So as you see, a couple of different options that we're going to delve into. Now, some quick logistics to help you think about which one of these is going to work well for you. First of all, know that you have other people in your cabin. They will also have to buy the same kind of drink package. If they are a miner, they will have to get the non-alcoholic package. If you are uh, thinking, hey, is there a limit on this? I know some cruise lines will say you can only have 15. That's not on MSC. Drink as much as you want with this package. It's also going to work at the MSC Marine Ocean Reserve. That is where we are today. So that's why you don't see a lot of people on the ship. They're all off enjoying themselves, but it will work here as well. So if you're coming to um, MSC's Ocean Key, this is a great spot for you to be able to use that package. The price that you're going to see online is also going to be the full price. So because it is a European cruise line, it's giving you the total price, including the gratuities there. So what you see on the page of what you're going to pay, that's what you're going to check out and also pay. If it is a longer cruise, you can expect the cost per day to also be less. I'm going to give you the cost per day amount that I calculated because I think that it's good to know what your daily drinking dollar amount or value should be for going into that. It's also okay if you make a mistake. If you pick a package that you don't like and when you get to the cruise ship, you can upgrade to a different package. I don't believe that you can downgrade, unfortunately, but you can upgrade if you get here and go, oh gosh, my specific drink is not covered by this package. I need the other one. You can totally change that. But my best tip of the day, if you've not already signed up for Rakuten, Rakuten make sure that you are doing that because they're giving you, I think, 1.5% cash back on all purchases through MSC's website. And this includes the any excursions, drink packages, internet packages. Make sure that you sign up there. They don't have an affiliate link or any way for me to get credit for this, but something that I take advantage of and think you should too. So, so now let's talk about the first package. And this is the one that I call the I'm good package. This is the one that I personally get because I don't drink alcohol. So in scripting this video, I have taken a lot of notes talking to a lot of bartenders and wait staff to figure out what you need to know. So for the I'm good package, like you are still going to, you're not going to go thirsty while you're on board. You're going to get water, tap water with ice if you want it. Um, you're also going to have American style drip coffee. The two things that I live on, water and coffee. And then you're going to have an assortment of different teas that they keep upstairs. They have a chamomile that I personally like to enjoy in the evenings. And they're also going to have some fruit juices that are dispensed from the little containers in the main dining room. That's all that's going to come with it. If you want anything else above that, you're going to have to pay whatever the price is for what you are ordering. Now, let's talk about the alcohol-free package. This is the very first package that you can actually purchase. Here on the weekend sailing, actually the weekend sailing for next week, this is what I priced it out at. So that would be a middle of March or end of March 2024 prices. It is $90 for the entire weekend sailing if you wanted the alcohol-free package. That's gonna come out to about $30 per day. And it's gonna include all non-alcoholic cocktails. For beer, you're gonna be able to get um, Heineken Zero. So this is one that I know I've gotten some questions about. I, If I had this package, I would order Heineken Zero. You're going to have fresh fruit and cocktails, protein cocktails, they're calling them. Protein cocktails simply being from the spa. They're going to have certain juices and whey protein that you can get from the spa on board the Magnifica and other MSC sailings. You're going to be able to get energy drinks. So they serve Red Bull uh, regular and sugar-free here. You're going to have flavored water. This is the one that most people want, which includes your mineral water. So if you want just bottles of water and you're going to drink a ton of them, this might be a good option for you as well. You're going to get soda. You're going to get hot drinks, which includes espresso. This is one that I specifically called out. So I think that that is, you know, this is also a coffee package, but gives you everything else. And interestingly enough, the marketing in here says you're going to get soft serve ice cream. 
you can't actually buy soft serve ice cream on this sip on the ship on the Magnifica. They serve it in the kids buffet section from 12 to 5 each day and it's complimentary. You don't actually have to buy it. So make sure when you're reading over um, what is offered in each package on their website, you're thinking about what's offered, what's not offered. I'm going to say that all of these are going to build on top of each other. So what we just covered in the alcohol free package, you're going to get that plus you're going to get whatever the next package level is that you're going to have. They repeat a lot of those in the marketing to make it look more, I guess, marketable. Um, so just know that you're not necessarily getting 10 different things. You're probably only going to get like three or four. The third drink package here on MSE is the Easy Package. Now again, on this three night sailing, it's going for about $147 for the entire voyage, which comes out to about $49 per day. It's also gonna allow you to have a credit for $8 for every drink that you order. So if there's a drink that is $8 and under, you can get that. If it is $8 and more, you're simply gonna need to pay the difference. I call this one the drink package with strings. If you're somebody who doesn't really care much about whether what you're drinking, you just take whatever they got to know you're drinking, this might be a good way for you to save a ton of money. So you will be able to get a selection of domestic and international cocktails. You're also gonna be able to get spirits. So you're gonna have whiskey, rum, vodka, gin, all of those, but you're gonna have one option of that spirit that you can drink. You cannot, um, you know, come in and just say, I want a top shelf. That is a different package. You're gonna get the bottom of the barrel for this one. You also will be able to um, order liqueurs, but you cannot upgrade to a liqueur. So if a liqueur costs more than $8, you're not gonna get the difference. You're gonna have to pay the a la carte price for it. I had to ask what the difference was between a spirit and a liqueur, since I'm not a drinker. Let me know down in the comments uh, what you think the difference between two is, because I, I wasn't sure. You're also going to get some house wines. Again, these are the introductory house wines. It is the cheapest that they have on board. And you're gonna be able to drink draft Heineken and bottled Heineken. That's the only beer that you can order. You also cannot upgrade beer on here. So if you came in and said, you know what? I wanna use my $8 to buy a Bud Light. You're not gonna be able to do that. They will charge you whatever the cost for the Bud Light is for um, that drink. So not a good idea if you're partial on what beers that you want to drink, if it's not Heineken or um, Heineken bottle. Moving on to the Easy Plus package. This is the fourth package that they have. And on this cruise, again, it's going for $192 for a full weekend, and it is $64 per day. And there's gonna be a coupon of $10 for every drink. So if it's a drink that is $10 and under, you can have it with absolutely no charge. Above $10, you're just gonna pay the difference. Now, this is gonna give you a variety of frozen drinks, cocktails, wells, spirits, liqueurs, you can have a little bit more, actually a lot more options than the easy package. You can go and name more of the liqueurs and liquor spirits that you want to be drinking. You're also gonna have a larger variety of wines that you can choose from, a variety of beers. So if you did come on and wanted to drink the Bud Light, the Angry Orchard, whatever you have it, that's gonna be included in this package. And then you're gonna have a 10% discount on bottles of wine purchased on board. So if you wanna have a bottle of wine with dinner, you'll get 10% off that. Um, so that gives you a lot more flexibility with the Easy Plus package. Um, so if you care more about what you're drinking, this might be a good alternative for you. So we continue building on the drink packages with the fifth option here, which is your premium drink package. Now the premium drink package is the creme de la creme. It is the highest and you'll be able to walk onto the ship and name just about whatever it is that you want to drink and you're gonna get that and it's gonna be included in this package. Now for this three night voyage, the price of it's coming in at around $264. I paid about that for the cruise. So it is literally doubling the cost if I was to get this to come on the cruise. That's gonna be $88 per day. And that's gonna allow you to have a credit of $15 for every drink. If you wanna get something more than $15, you'll just pay the difference. But it's gonna be pretty hard to do that because most of the drinks that I've seen in the menus, everything is $15 and under. Wine might be the only place that you'll be able to do that. But let's talk about what makes the premium package the premium package. So it is a wide selection of premium and international cocktail. So if you wanna be able to say, I wanna go up there and make a frozen daiquiri and you wanna choose what the rum is and it's a high-end premium rum, this is gonna be a great option for you. It's gonna give you premium brands of spirits, liqueurs, and cocktails. You're also gonna have a wide selection of wines by the glass. I think that this might be one of the biggest wins to the premium package is you can actually get some really good wines for the premium package. And champagne by the glass is listed here. That is not actually listed on any of the other packages. So if you're coming on a New Year's Eve sailing, this might be what you want to consider is the premium package. 
you're also gonna get a 25% discount on all bottled wines. So if you are going to dinner and wanna take a bottle of wine with you, or you see, you know, there's maybe a $150 bottle of wine, you wanna splurge a little bit, you'll get 25% off of that once you are on board. So in evaluating these drink packages here on MSC, I would say, first of all, know yourself. For me, I get that, you know what, I'm good. I don't need a drink package package because I live on water and I live on drink, drip coffee. That's all that I really need in my life. If you're somebody though that's gonna come on here and say, I really need bottled water, I need espresso, I maybe want some protein drinks, that may make sense for you to get the non-alcoholic package. Though honestly, I think it's probably gonna be just as cheap as to pay a la carte unless you want a ton of bottled water and a ton of espresso. Just go a la carte and you'll probably be fine. From there, you've got the easy package, and this is really designed for people who don't care about a hangover the next day, who don't care what they're drinking. They just want a drink in their hand and know they're part of the party. This is gonna save you a ton of money, and I think is a great option for those people who honestly just don't care what they're drinking. It is gonna have the most restrictions, and you're honestly not gonna have a lot of choices. You're gonna be able to say, I want this drink, and the bartender's not gonna be able to customize that at all for you. If you're somebody that says, eh, you know what, I'm a little bit older, those hangovers are a little bit worse, um, I wanna make sure that I'm getting a halfway decent liquor or spirit. Um, you're gonna wanna make sure that you're upgrading to the Easy Plus. I think this is the one that makes the most sense for a lot of people. And I say that because $10 goes a long ways here on MSC. You can get a lot of drinks for that. And if you want to upgrade to a premium package, you can still buy a premium drink. You're just gonna wind up paying the difference. So. The math on that is if you're going to be upgrading on a weekend sailing, you have to do it about 10 times, upgrade to a premium package, then the premium dollar amount is going to make sense. That comes out to about three times per day that you're going to need to order a premium drink. If you are somebody who is, you know, I don't want to say, you know, bougie necessarily, but you want to make sure you're getting the creme de la creme, the best that they've got, the premium package could absolutely work for you. The other advantage that I like about the premium package is you're not nickel and diming yourself. Whatever you order is going to be included. You've already paid for it. It's charged up front. When you walk off the ship, you're not going to have any expenses because every all of your drinks have already been charged. So that's one thing that I like about it is you're just able to come on, enjoy, and have a good time. So I hope this video has been helpful in helping you understand what's the best MSC drink package option for you, which one you should be going with, and what you need to be thinking about. This is Brandon, the Weekend Cruiser, hoping to see you on a Weekend Cruise soon.